How does fiscal policy reduce unemployment? With cats. This is Bob. He likes cats. This is Lisa. She hates cats. This is Sally. She doesn't care. But the one thing they have in common is that they are unemployed. But what does unemployment mean? Now, unemployment refers to the situation in which people who are willing and able to work cannot find work. There are three different types of unemployment: structural, cyclical, and frictional. Well, remember Bob? He got fired due to an economic recession, and this is a form of cyclical unemployment. Which is caused by the inadequate demand for a country's goods due to weak foreign and domestic demand. What about Lisa? Well, Lisa got fired due to a form of structural unemployment, which is mainly due to the immobility of resources when the structure of the economy changes or when there are permanent changes in demand and supply conditions. Lisa used to work in a floppy disk factory. What's a floppy disk? Exactly my point. Because there is now a drop in demand for floppy disks, Lisa is now unemployed. As for Sally, she got fired. No lah, she quit. Oh, so now this is a form of frictional unemployment, which is associated with normal labor turnover and aggravated by geographical immobility of labor and imperfect market knowledge. This is where the government comes in. The government will use policies like fiscal policy to help reduce unemployment. What is fiscal policy? Fiscal policy refers to the government's use of its own expenditure and tax revenue to influence the economy. But how does FP help to reduce unemployment? Well. In the direct taxes component, when personal income and corporate taxes are high, people are sad. But when the government reduces such taxes, disposable income and profits for corporations increase. This increases purchasing power for people, and increases the amount of money corporations can invest in other areas. So people are happy. This means that the consumption component. And the investment component of the AD increases. Another aspect of fiscal policy is government expenditure, in the form of transfer payments, like the progress package, to people. This increases their purchasing power and increases the consumption function C, as explained earlier. Another is purchasing goods and services, like investing in government sectors such as healthcare. This increases the G function of AD as money is being pumped into the economy. Another way for fiscal policy to work is where it affects imported and domestic goods. This is true taxing imported goods. Usually, people with purchasing power would choose imported goods over domestic goods. However, when we tax imported goods, people are more likely to purchase domestic goods over foreign goods. This increases the consumption function of AD yet again by redirecting the money into the domestic economy. This is represented by the ADAS model. The initial equilibrium point before the FP is implemented is indicated by the cat. The increase in C, I, and G. Cause the AD graph to move rightwards as shown. This shows an increase in national income and general price level as shown by the new equilibrium point. Remember, Bob. Well, because the government has implemented fiscal policies, corporate tax has decreased, and now corporations have increased profits 
and now are able to hire more people. And thus, Bob is now employed. Bob has more purchasing power and can buy more cats. This is one way fiscal policy can reduce cyclical unemployment. Now, remember Sally? She quit her job. Through the fiscal policy, the government can set up more employment agencies so that Sally can find a job that she has been looking for. This is how the fiscal policy helps to reduce frictional unemployment. And now she's employed, which means she can go shopping! As for Lisa, who was fired when floppy disks became redundant through fiscal policies, the government can channel funds to create retraining programs to equip Lisa with new up-to-date skills. And now, Lisa is employed by a hard drive manufacturing company. In this way, fiscal policy helps to reduce structural unemployment. Through this video, I hope that you have learned how fiscal policy tackles each of the three major forms of unemployment. Thank you for watching. Bye! Bye.